right to talk to you about this absolutely beautiful Ferrari F430. 2006, a car that I've sold quite a few times before, I think from the top of my head probably about four times. Uh, presented in Rosso Scuderia with narrow Daytona seats. And the Ferrari F430 for me is one of my favourite Ferraris. The 458 became a little bit larry and a little bit too fast probably for me to drive and the 488 even faster still. The F430 I always found was a car that you could drive really, really hard without ending up in a hedge, which is obviously the, the best way to drive a car. Uh, beautiful spec, it's presented in fabulous condition. The previous keepers I know really, really well, and it's been looked after to within an inch of its life. We've got a huge, huge file of bills going back from probably about 2007, 2006, uh, with everything from minor services, major services, to tire replacements. As you can see, the car also is fitted with the scooter rear wheels, which were added by the previous, previous keeper at, at great cost. These are original Ferrari wheels, these aren't a copy. Um, as you can see, the car has got the all-important scooter rear shields. It's been specified with front and rear parking sensors. Satellite navigation, although as most of you will know, an F30, the sat-nav isn't the best in these cars. Um, we've got carbon interior trim. So it's a really, really good spec. Also, the previous, previous Keeper Andy uh, changed a lot of the interior trim and the engine bay to carbon fibre, which looks absolutely magnificent and really, really finishes the car off. It also has switchable exhaust. It, it really is the perfect F430. And I, I will obviously go on about that all day, but Ferrari F430 is for me, probably one of my favourite Ferraris. Okay, so Ferrari F430 before, mid-engine V8 Ferraris started to get a little bit silly and ended up with like a million horsepower and sideways everywhere. Before that, we had the F430. Um, for me, just about fast enough for me to be able to drive. Maybe that says a little bit more about me as a driver than uh, the actual car, but uh, I feel like you can drive in F430 uh, quite hard, it's quite rewarding. Um, almost like a, an E46 M3, you can drive it really, really, really hard and the car will just take it and you can enjoy it. Whereas with a 458 and a 488, although incredible cars, um, can occasionally be a little bit frightening um, as the um, obviously a lot more powerful, a lot more quicker. Uh, again, uh, I think if you were Fernando Alonso, you'd probably choose the much newer, much more powerful car because you can drive. Uh, but for the mere mortal, the sort of you and me and everybody else, I think the F130 is just about enough power and performance. Driving it, you can use it every day if you want. It, it really is a fun 